देखिए हम लिखे हैं योर नेम हेलो ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग सो वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माई नेम शिवम सिंह एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ फ्री पाइथन सेशन फॉर सेवन डेज ओके सो इन सेवन डेज वी लर्न ऑल द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पाइथन द कोर पाइथन एंड नॉट ओनली द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट द बेसिकली एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पाइथन एंड देन ऑन द एट्थ डे मीन्स ऑन द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जनवरी वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ आवर नॉलेज ओके सो गाइज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अमेजिंग सेशन फॉर यू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अमेजिंग जर्नी फॉर यू सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर ज्वाइनिंग नाउ so we will wait for more uh, uh, four to five minutes and then we will start ओके गाय सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन अगेन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट नाउ ओके सो गाय फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस दिस कम्प्लीट प्रोग्राम इज बेसिकली इज अ प्रैक्टिकल सेशन ओके सो वी आर नॉट हियर टू कवर अ बेसिकली अ थर्टिकल सेशन मोर बट यस इन योर नोटबुक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू सो यू गेट बेसिकली अ बेसिक थर्टिकल कॉन्सेप्ट Uh, and uh, so for that purpose you need to install some uh, uh, some library uh, some basically uh, you need to install python and uh, you need to install a uh, editor so that is a uh, basically anaconda so uh, for that purpose what you need to do is you just uh, uh, go on to your uh, chrome and just uh, uh, write python.org okay so from python dot o r g you will get a link okay so you will get a basically a download link so you uh, need to install uh, python and uh, based on your configuration you can install basically three points 
यू कैन इंस्टॉल एनी वर्जन अब थ्री पॉइंट सेवन सो यू कैन इंस्टॉल थ्री पॉइंट सेवन पॉइंट एक्स और यू कैन इंस्टॉल थ्री पॉइंट एट पॉइंट एक्स और यू कैन इंस्टॉल बेसिकली न्यू वर्जन ऑफ पाइथन दैट इज थ्री पॉइंट नाइन पॉइंट वन ओके सो एनी वर्जन यू कैन इंस्टॉल एंड द लिंक इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन योर चैट बॉक्स आई थिंक यू गाइज कैन सी द लिंक दैट इज अवेलेबल इन योर चैट बॉक्स सो मीन वाइल आई विल गिव यू द सम थर्टिकल कॉन्सेप्ट वाई पाइथन इज बेटर दैन ए एनी अदर लैंग्वेज एंड वाई इन जस्ट सेवन डेज यू कैन बेसिकली गेट बेसिक लर्न अ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सो वी विल टॉक अबाउट दैट थिंग सो इन अ मीन टाइम यू गाइज कैन इंस्टॉल दिस थिंग्स दैन द सेकेंड थिंग विच यू नीड टू इंस्टॉल इज दैट इज एनाकोंडा ओके सो यू नीड टू राइट ओनली एनाकोंडा डाउनलोड and i think the very first link which is available <coughs> anaconda.com/product/individual okay so this link is also available in your chat box you only need to click on this button download after clicking on this button uh, you uh, basically you can download the anaconda so uh, based on your uh, requirement okay yes uh, don't uh, don't install python 3.9.1 because uh, anaconda Uh, basically doesn't give you uh, the place for th python 3.9.1 so you need to install python 3.7x or python 3.8 okay and based on your configuration if you are using a windows so you can install this uh, based on your configuration like 64 bit or 34 bit 32 bit then if you are using a mac os so you can install uh, from here and if you are using a linux so you can install from here okay so based on your setup based on your configuration you can install these two things uh, for uh, to start your journey okay guys so i think uh, it will take some time it will take 10 to 15 minutes of a time so just uh, click on these links and start your installations so meanwhile we are basically talk about some uh, concepts uh, that uh, why we need to learn python why we are basically start this uh, type of a program so i will give you some uh, basically insights regarding this program okay so i think the link is available in your chat box or and for any query you can write uh, your query in your comment box okay fine <coughs> so if i talk about a uh, course objective so what is our objective is so uh, basically in terms of a complexity okay so uh, so there are so many people in uh, in this group uh, who is uh, basically not uh, 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 they are they are uh, basically new in uh, basically coding uh, coding journey okay so they don't even know the c++ or java so uh there is uh, there is no uh, there is no issue if you don't know any kind of a programming language okay you can start with the python because in terms of a complexity python is a simplest language available on this planet so you can learn python without uh, any uh, basically prerequisite without any previous knowledge okay so yes and uh, writing up uh, code in a python is like uh, writing a uh, basically a beautiful story Uh, and yes you can see this thing in uh, in your uh, in this 7 days okay so our uh, objective is uh, basically uh, give you a, a basically a path so that in a future you can uh, basically start your journey in a uh, machine learning or a deep learning or natural language processing anything you want to uh, basically continue that journey uh, in uh, basically a data science or anything okay so you can continue your journey so i will just suggest you the path at the end of this uh, course so what kind of the uh, what kind of a things you can learn after this program okay uh fine uh, uh, then after that uh, uh, we will uh, in this uh, and uh, you know that a uh, lot of the lot of companies nowadays using python like nasa pinterest google dropbox so there are so many companies nowadays we are uh, they are using a python so there are lot of jobs available as a python developer if you uh, learn python so at 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 advanced level so you can definitely apply for that things okay so yes in terms of a simplicity in terms of a simplicity this is the uh, this is the simplest language available on this planet uh, 
yes you can compare this thing with any other programming language okay so the uh, the technology which i named uh, like uh, machine language deep learning so uh, machine learning deep learning so uh, you can write a code of a machine learning or a deep learning with any language uh, there is no doubt that you can write that code with a c++ or we can you can write that code with a java but yes uh, the complexity the basically the in terms of a complexity uh, python is the easiest language available okay so the same code which you can write in a basically c++ or java in uh, uh, maybe uh, 20 or 40 lines the same code you can write in python in just 5 or 10 lines okay so yes in terms of complexity is the this is the simplest language available okay so yes uh, uh, basically why we use python so uh, python provides you the platform Py uh, you can uh, use python as a scripting language as a functional programming and as an object oriented programming okay so like uh, in java you can only uh, write a program in a basically object oriented way okay so that is a basically object oriented that supports only object oriented programming then in c++ it only supports object oriented programming and a functional programming but here in python it uh, supports a basically scripting language okay so uh, right i already told you that uh, writing a program is like uh, writing a beautiful story so you can generate your you can generate a story you can write your story in a more beautiful way using a python okay so uh, that is uh, basically uh, very uh, in a, in terms of ease of use this is the simplest language available okay then there are lot, there are basically a lot of libraries which uh, makes your job easier okay so in uh, suppose uh, like uh, uh, if i talk about a data visualization part or a, like uh, uh, if i talk about uh, basically a data science okay so in a data science so what is the meaning of data science is so the meaning of data science is to gain some insights from your data okay so you need to gain you need to find some insights from your data uh, so at that time uh, and uh, in a machine learning all, uh, also you need to do a lot of uh, numeric computation means a lot of mathematical operations are there and actually the whole machine learning is based on uh, mathematics so you need to do a lot of lot lot of mathematical operations so for uh, each and every mathematical operation there is a library available in python which makes your task or which makes your job easier okay so these are uh, these are they basically a uh, fundamental these are basically uh, advantage of python over any other language okay guys so and yes uh, like here you can compare between java and python okay so the same program which you uh, basically write in java in basically three to four lines the same program you can execute in python in just one line of a code okay so yes uh, this is easier uh, easiest uh, programming language or in terms of ease of use this is the best programming language available okay now uh, in terms of installation so i already gives you the link of uh, uh, how you can install the python okay so you can install python using this link and uh, uh, for uh, basically uh, for the simplicity okay so there are basically many id there uh, there are different ids or different platforms where you can uh, write your program where you can execute your program there is a pycharm available but uh, in a jupyter notebook okay so inside a uh, anaconda there is one thing which is called a jupyter notebook so jupyter notebook is basically a uh, uh, you can say a web, open source web application okay so uh, in that in that jupyter notebook you can check your uh, command you can check your code each and every uh, line of a code you can basically cross check whether you are uh, you are uh, going in a right direction or not okay so uh, uh, and in terms of uh, understanding this is the best notebook available okay so in terms of uh, understanding okay so if uh, i want to like show off my code to anyone okay so if i want to show off my code uh, to anyone so at that point of a time i basically use a jupyter notebook but uh, <coughs> but uh, if uh, uh, like uh, when I want to deploy my model when I basically make uh, some kind of a model I, and I want to deploy it so at that point of a time I use a uh, basically a PyCharm or maybe a VS code okay Visual Studio but uh, yes uh, from uh, for the uh, for uh, as a beginner 
और एज बेसिकली अ लर्नर यू कैन यूज अ जुपिटर नोटबुक सो इट इज़ अ बेसिकली एडवांस नोटबुक विच विच इज़ अवेलेबल एंड in in the basically a jupiter notebook your task is become more easier and you can basically cross check your each and every line so that there is a no chance of a mistake and there is a no chance of basically uh, 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 any kind of any any kind of uh, misconception okay so and yes there are a lot of things available so which i can show you like uh, you no need not to remember each and every functions okay so there are different functions available in uh, every data type so like uh, uh, today uh, today session we are going to study about uh, strings so in strings there are uh, more than 15 to 20 functions available so we need not to remember each and every functions and we need not to remember the basically logic of each and every function that to what is going on in this function and what is basically going on this function okay so at that point of a time we uh, uh, in a jupiter notebook there uh, you can just uh, use two buttons and you can uh, see the logic behind that function okay you need not to uh, google every time you need not to remember by heart each and everything okay by practicing definitely after some time uh, you uh, you remember some of the facts which is regularly used but yes uh, at a uh, at a starting point also and at the at last also you need not to remember each and everything okay so inside uh, this uh, basically 7 days we are going to learn about a uh, basic data types so there are some basic data uh, so we are going to learn about uh, basically strings and variables in our first session then uh, in a day wise so in a second day we are going to learn about uh, basically a data structures like uh, list tuple sets and a uh, dictionary then uh, on the third day we are going to learn about a uh, basically conditional statement like if elif and uh, basically a uh, loops like for while then on the fourth day we are going to learn about uh, functions then on the fifth day we are going to learn about a uh, basically a uh, which is called a uh, anonymous function okay so there are something which is called a uh, anonymous function and and there are uh, basically some advanced concept like iterables iterators and generators okay then on the sixth day we are going to learn about a uh, file handling and uh, exception handling and then on the seventh day we are going to wrap up with a oops concept okay so on the seventh day we are going to wrap up with a oops concept and after that on the eighth day we are going to build a basically a project okay guys so this is the complete agenda of uh, this seven day uh, journey or this uh, basically of of basically uh, our seven days fine so i think most of the people are uh, download that uh, uh, that two things uh, python and uh, and uh, anaconda okay so i will uh, basically wait for one or two minutes more and then we are good to start ओके गाइस सो दो इंस्टॉल दिस थिंग मीन्स पाइथन एंड एनाकोंडा प्लीज राइट इन अ चैट बॉक्स विद बेसिकली विद अ थम इम्प्रेशन और विद अ ओके सो दैट वी कैन प्रोसीड इफ मैक्सिम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स कैन इंस्टॉल दैट थिंग सो वी कैन प्रोसीड ओके सो प्लीज गिव मी अ थम इन अ चैट बॉक्स
ओके गाइज आई विल वेट फॉर वन और टू मिनट्स मोर बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर स्टिल गेटिंग ट्रेवल विद द इंस्टॉलेशन ओके सो एनी एनी काइंड ऑफ इशू प्लीज राइट इन द चैट बॉक्स योर क्वेरी विल बी एंसर्ड ओके सो यस नाउ नाउ पीपल आर एबल टू इंस्टॉल दैट थिंग ओके ओके गाइस सो आई थिंक नाउ वी आर गुड टू गो ओके सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू आफ्टर दिस थिंग यू नीड टू राइट इन योर बेसिकली सर्च बार यू नीड टू राइट लाइक बेसिकली एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर ओके सो विद एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर और विद एनाकोंडा प्रॉम्प्ट यू कैन ओपन दिस काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग ओके सो इफ यू राइट जस्ट एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर एंड यू क्लिक ऑन दैट एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर सो आफ्टर दैट यू कैन गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ स्क्रीन Uh, you you end up getting this kind of a thing in your uh, at your screen okay so uh, yes uh, just uh, go on the search bar write anaconda navigator okay so and click on that anaconda navigator you are uh, you basically end up getting this kind of a thing at your screen okay fine after that just do one thing just click on this launch button okay so there is a basically uh, uh, i there is a basically uh, jupiter notebook so in a uh, basically jupiter notebook you just click on the launch button okay so just click on the launch button and after that after clicking on this launch button you get a uh, basically this kind of a screen okay so uh, basically it, it will uh, redirect you at your home directory ओके यस सो दिस इज अ बेसिकली योर होम डायरेक्टरी ओके सो आफ्टर क्लिकिंग ऑन दैट लॉन्च बटन यू जस्ट इट इज जस्ट रीडायरेक्ट यू एट योर होम डायरेक्टरी ओके आई थिंक दिस इज बेसिकली टिल दिस पॉइंट एवरी थिंग इज ओके आई विल आई जस्ट आई जस्ट रिपीट माई सेल्फ वंस अगेन ओके सो वॉट वैट टू डू इज जस्ट इन योर सर्च बार राइट एनाकोंट आर नेविगेटर आफ्टर writing a anaconda nav navigator just click on that anaconda navigator and you end up getting this kind of a thing at your screen okay after that just uh, click on this jupiter notebook and just click on this launch button it will take uh, maybe one or two minutes of a time and after that you will get a uh, this kind of a thing okay so it will redirect you at your home directory okay so this is your home directory fine after that what you have to do is so uh, you can do one thing okay so uh, basically uh, uh, this is a basically 7 days program so you can do one thing you can create a new folder in your basically home directory anywhere in your home directory like in a documents or in a downloads or any 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 directory which you can uh, you, which you can see over here okay so i this is my home directory i don't know about your home, home directory so whatever the directory available over here you can create a new folder inside that okay so like uh, like likewise i just create a new folder inside my documents okay so in my documents there is a uh, basically i just create a new folder with name python python essential program okay so you can create a new folder with any name like uh, python in 7 days or python essential program anything you can create okay so just click or uh, just go on your uh, basically a document uh, directory and create a new folder okay so you have to create this new folder from a directory itself okay <laughs> uh, from not from here okay so you have to create this uh, folder from your directory itself okay so just uh, so i am I, i i just go very slowly so that you can you guys can uh, do this thing along with me okay so just go on your document directory create a new folder with any name like a python essential program okay after that when you come here when you again uh, come here so you can see the uh, folder is created okay now when you click on this folder 
when you click on this folder so you get this kind of a thing okay so uh, i just created uh, basically one uh, notebook so uh, uh, definitely there is a blank uh, from your side so there is a blank on your side so you need to do one thing just click on a new button click on a new button and then click on python 3 okay click on a new button and click on python 3 okay so after clicking on after clicking on python 3 you will end up getting this kind of a notebook okay to verify whether this notebook is working uh, correct or not you just need to do one thing just write one plus one or maybe anything and you will get if you will get two so yes one plus one is equal to two so yes this notebook is working fine okay so uh, guys i think uh, this uh, i am uh, i just go very slowly so i think uh, nobody has any kind of issue and if anyone having any kind of issue just write in the chat box okay so this is your no uh, jupyter notebook which is called a web based scripting notebook okay fine so here you can change the title you can uh, rename this notebook okay so uh, suppose this is a day one so i can write uh, basically a day one fine so the day one of a uh, python essential program fine and uh, uh, this notebook is available to you in uh, basically this format i p y n b so it means i python uh, so it, it means that python notebook so i p y n b and uh, the same notebook okay so the same notebook which i am going to deliver over here uh, in a more uh, structured way so i arrange this notebook in a more structured way and that notebook is available in your google classroom okay so i think uh, everyone of you get a classroom link so you only need to join that classroom uh, there you get uh, basically every day's notebook so whatever we are basically learn over here so the same notebook uh, in a more structured way means uh, basically a theoretical concept is also written on that notebook so the same notebook in a much fundamental way uh, in a much proper way is available over uh, over your google classroom and the second thing second thing is the assignment so day wise assignment is available okay so just after the complete completion of this class i think uh, 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 before uh, 5 or before 6 the assignment okay guys so i think uh, my system will be restarted so uh, fine i think uh, the anaconda steps you can see that steps again fine <laughs> so those uh, those guys who are basically those who have not uh, basically not able to install or not able to start that anaconda kind of a thing so they can basically uh, uh, saw this thing again okay so i just write anaconda navigator on my uh, search bar and after that uh, this thing will start okay so fine uh, okay so uh, i already told you you are end up getting this kind of a this kind of a thing on your screen after that you need to only click on the launch button okay so after clicking on the launch button it will basically redirect you on your basic uh, home directory okay yes so this is my home directory and I already created a folder in my document uh, with, uh, with name uh, python essential program. Ok guys so there is nothing to worry about we will just going to start in uh, 2 to 3 minutes it will ju just take 2 to 3 minutes of a time not more than that okay so fine yes so python essential program and i already renamed my python notebook with uh, basically day one yes so this is my day one notebook <coughs> fine and i already checked this thing with one plus one so one plus one is equals to two Fine, guys. So I think uh, you will get enough of time. So all of you is ready with this notebook. All of you guys are basically at the same place which where I am now. Okay. 
so just uh, so we are uh, going to start with uh, basically a strings okay uh, before that i will uh, give you a simple uh, concept of python like in a python so suppose there is uh, basically just a first thing is basically known as a <coughs> variable okay so what is variable variable is a basically kind of a, a kind of a entity which uh, which is uh, which is used to store your data set in uh, basically in your main memory okay so variable is a kind of an entity which is used to store your data set in a main memory okay so suppose if i write a is equals to 7 so this uh, here a is your basically a variable okay uh, which which like to store a basically a data uh, of basically 7 okay which is, which is used to store a number of 7 suppose if i want to uh, see the type okay so uh, <coughs> you can see uh, in basically c++ or java you need to uh, specify the type of your data okay so the type of your data like uh, you need to specify whether it is a integer or whether it is a string okay but here uh, python understand this thing okay and if you check this uh, type of basically a so it will give you basically integer okay so the type of a is basically an integer because 7 is basically your integer likewise if i write some string so you need to write a string in basically a double quote or a single quote okay so maybe like in this way shiva saying so this is my uh, string and if i check the type of this s so yes this is a str str means string okay uh, yes and you can also write this thing in a basically a single quote okay so if you want to write uh, this thing in a single quote yes so again no not not an issue so a string can be represented in a single quote or a double quote okay or in a basically a different uh, way you can uh, you can say that uh, anything in a python which is available in a single quote or a double quote is known as a string okay fine uh, then the next thing if you want to see the address of this string the address of this string so you can simply write id okay so id denotes the address of your s okay so where uh, your s is available in your main memory so you can check that address okay so id of s so this is the basically address of this variable s fine now uh, uh, there is a uh, basically a function of uh, basically a string okay so if you want to check the length of this string uh, what is uh, uh, possible length of this string so you can count it by yourself or you can just write len of s so len of s means the length of my string is 12 okay yes so there are basically a 12 characters available okay it also counts basically a space fine now the second thing in a string in the second important thing in a string is basically a indexing okay so suppose if i write a name if i just write a name and again the variable name could be anyone any anything okay so it can be yes it can be n it can be your name it can be my name okay so if i want to write uh, if if i want to store my uh, string in a variable suppose sing okay so i can store it not an issue okay so i can definitely store this thing yes and if i uh, want to see sing so yes that is just basically a shiva okay now <coughs> what i am going to do is so i just write a basically name okay so means n and inside n i want to store my name okay so if i write basically shiva sing fine so uh, what do you mean by uh, string indexing okay so string indexing is nothing but uh, basically uh, there uh, uh, if you uh, if you store something inside the n so there are basically a different values of every uh, so each uh, string each uh, character is stored at a different index okay so like s is basically or at zero then h is basically at one then i is at uh, two okay so in this way so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 then space is also count okay then s again 
okay so this is basically a indexing okay so if i want to access any of a character from this is complete string so i just need to write a index value okay so if i want to access uh, like i okay so i is basically uh, available in two places so if i want to access like uh, v okay so v is available or uh, at third index okay so from 0 1 2 and 3 okay so v is available at third index so i just need to write 3 inside this square bracket and yes you can access basically v fine and if you want to access anything else like if you want to access uh, basically uh, if you uh, so there are only a 12 characters inside this string okay so uh, if there are only 12 characters so i think the last value the last value or the last index value of this uh, string is basically 11 okay so what happens if i write if i if i want to access a character at 12th position okay so there are no character available at 12th position because my last character my h character is available at 11th position so there are no character available as 12th position so if i want to access if i if i if i write n of 12 so yes i uh, basically uh, i am end of getting an error okay so i am end of getting an error which name is index string index out of range okay so i am getting an error a string index out of range okay fine so this is basically a indexing now uh, this is basically a forward indexing okay so uh, i can basically explain this thing to you in a very simple way like uh, uh, if you can see so error uh, the your string is basically available in this way okay so these are basically indexing so s then h then i then v then a then m and then there is space then again s then again i then n then g and then h okay so this is basically a index values of your uh, of every character okay 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 then 10 and 11 okay so this is basically a forward indexing if i want uh, basically access some element from uh, basically backward okay so that is called a reverse indexing so you can write this thing in this way so minus one then minus two it will start from minus one it will not start from minus zero there is nothing uh, uh, available which is called a minus zero so it will start from minus one then minus one minus two minus three then minus four minus five and then minus six minus seven minus eight minus 9 minus 10 minus 11 and minus 12 okay so i think uh, now if i ask you uh, any question about a uh, reverse indexing so if i uh, ask you uh, if i ask you to access basically uh, if if i if, if i write here like uh, minus of 4 okay so you guys are uh, uh, you 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 guys can easily answer this thing okay so what is basically s of minus 4 so s of minus 4 is nothing but i think i okay because uh, uh, in a thing i is basically available on minus fourth of index okay so yes i now again if i ask you uh, like uh, what is available at minus 9 so yes you guys can answer this thing what is available at uh, s of minus 9 so s of minus 9 is nothing but uh, so it will it will give you v okay so this is basically a uh, indexing in a uh, basically your string okay now the second concept second important concept in basically a string is uh, is called a slicing okay so what is slicing so uh, in slicing uh, like indexing we uh, we can only access a single character okay in a indexing we can only access a single character but in slicing we can uh, access a number of characters okay so when we want to access a list of characters uh, from a particular string at that point of time we are basically using a slicing operation okay so yes uh, so this is my n shivam singh now if i want to access a uh, list of characters okay so if i want to access list of characters so what i can do is i just write uh, i just perform a slicing operation so how slicing happens so you need to write uh, suppose you uh, i want to access everything uh, i want to access everything except this s 
okay so accept this as i want to access everything so from starting from h i want to access everything so i just write one because h is starting from uh, index value one and if i want to grab everything so i just uh, write colon and i just uh, write in uh, nothing okay so it will grab from one till end okay so yes h i v m until h okay now if i want to access uh, something uh, uh, from uh, one place to another so what i can do is i can write like uh, if i want to access from suppose h okay so i want to start from one again and if i want to go till uh, n okay so i want to go till n so i need to only uh, generalize uh, i need to only know the uh, index value of this n so index value of in n is nothing but 9 uh, but uh, in slicing operation uh, the second part okay so uh, the second means uh, what we have to write uh, the end uh, end value is basically excluded okay so the end value is excluded so you need to uh, take a, a n plus 1 okay so whatever you want to access uh, where from uh, from where to where so whatever uh, till where you want to access you need to write n plus 1 okay so if my index value at n is 9 so you have to write 10 okay so you want to access from 1 to 10 fine yes so you can see h i v m and then space then s i n okay so this is basically uh, yes uh, in a slicing operation uh, 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 so basically this is the starting index and this is the basically end index so uh, in your end index your end value is basically excluded okay so you only can access from 1 to 9 okay so you can only access from 1 to 9 fine <laughs> then uh, Uh, if uh, now i think this is clear so if i ask you a question so uh, just uh, give me a index value or just uh, give me a basically and yes if you want to access uh, 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 suppose whole of the thing whole of the string so what you can do you just you can only write this okay so you can access from 0 till end okay so if you uh, if you didn't write anything inside this uh, uh, square bracket and you only write like uh, a colon so it uh, basically uh, it it basically takes from 0 till end okay so from 0 till end shivam singh complete character is basically generated now if i want to take a jump of 2 okay so in n if i want to uh, if i want to uh, uh, basically generate some characters in a jump of 2 okay so at a jump of 2 i want to generate some character like uh, i want to start from h and i want to go till n but at the jump of 2 means uh, i uh, i uh, i at my output i want h then i want v then i want m then i want i okay so at a jump of 2 if i want to uh, print a list of characters but at the jump of 2 so what i can do is i just write a starting character means where i want to start so i want to start from 1 then i want i have to write a basically a end end value so end value is nothing but a 10 which i all which i already told you that it exclude a basically end value then by default Uh, by default the step value is 1 okay so uh, where i can use like this thing so by default the step value is 1 so i can write a step value is 2 okay so if i want to take jump of 2 i can write the step value is basically 2 fine so yes you can start from h then v then m then uh, basically s and then n okay so this is basically a slicing operation okay so you if you want to check jump of 2 so you can write uh, your uh, your uh, basically command in this way fine uh, so guys uh, the next thing if i uh, basically want to slice something in a reverse direction okay so this is a uh, basically a concept this concept you need to understand if i want to access something in a reverse direction so at that point what you can do is <coughs> okay so just so if you want to access uh, uh, some uh, some values in a reverse direction okay so 
yes what you can do is so suppose uh, in my uh, reverse indexing i can ex i want to access from this g means starting from minus 2 and i want to go till uh, suppose minus i okay so i want to start from g minus g and i want to go till uh, i okay so means minus 2 to minus 11 because the end value is excluded so from minus 2 to minus 11 okay so yes i can write like minus 2 then after colon i can write minus 11 okay now what happens is if i run this command if i run this code so what happens is you guys can see this what happens is there is a blank okay so nothing uh, nothing will be printed at the at this point of a time okay so actually what happens is actually what happens at the point of a time so suppose just uh, I, I i just give you the scaling concept and remember this scaling concept for uh, basically a future difference so suppose there is a zero in middle after that there is a zero in middle after that uh, so there are basically a positive points like one two three four five six and seven and likewise there are basically a negative points on the left hand side of uh, basically a zero so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 okay so what happens is so uh, 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 what uh, basically what uh, we are doing is so we give a basically a starting index of minus 2 means we want to start from here we want to start from minus 2 and we want to go till minus 11 we want to go till minus 11 okay so we uh, we started from minus 2 and we want to go till minus 11 so this uh, this is the basically value i want so means from starting from minus 2 to minus 10 i want each value inside my uh, basically uh, inside my list but what happens is by default the step size is plus 1 okay so the step size okay so always remember there is a basically third thing available which is known as step size so step size is plus one by default okay so every time if you not write a step size so it, that step size is plus one by default so what happens is you just give the command that you want to go from minus two to minus eleven but you just give a step size is minus one so the direction is a opposite direction so you just give a opposite direction okay so you you just give a command that uh, give me the value from minus 2 to minus 11 but you give the direction you give a opposite direction okay so here you just give you just end up getting a blank so nothing uh, uh, nothing is available over here so you end up getting a blank okay so you need to write a step size of minus one then only it will gives you the value starting from minus two to minus eleven okay so you need to uh, you need to basically describe a step size okay so what is your step size so your step size here is not one your step size is basically a minus one okay now if i run this command okay so you will end up getting this uh, character which you basically want okay which uh, which you actually uh, uh, want so you are end of getting these characters okay so yes uh, likewise uh, you can write anything like uh, if i want to get if i want to access this thing in uh, basically a jump of two so again the same thing so minus 11 and then minus 2 okay so it will gives you the value at the jump of two okay and you can verify this thing with the basically this uh, uh, value okay with this index value you can verify this thing okay guys so i think and uh, guys uh, i basically recommend you just uh, write this thing or just take a screenshot of this thing so that it will help you uh, to complete your assignment and it will help you to basically uh, go through it properly okay so and one last thing okay so one last thing in a slicing operation which i can uh, basically uh, told you like uh, if I want to uh, access all the elements, if I want to access a uh, list of elements, uh, but in a reverse direction, means starting from H, starting from H, then uh, till S. Okay, so I want to access all the elements, but in a reverse direction. So at that point of time, what you have to do is, 
so uh, like uh, uh, in a forward uh, in a forward pass or in a forward slicing what you can do is if you want to access each uh, if you want to access each and every element so what you can do is so you just need to write a colon okay so the colon means you need to start from a zero you are basically your end point is basic you want to uh, go till end and your step size is one okay but at that point of time you need to specify the step size okay you, only you need to specify the step size so yes you want to start from uh, basically uh, reverse indexing you need to go till end but you need to uh, you want to go till end in a reverse direction not in a forward direction so you only need to change the step size okay so by default the step size is one and here you need to specify the step size is minus one okay so after that you are end of getting all the characters in a basically a reverse order fine you are end of getting uh, all the characters in a reverse order fine guys so this is basically a slicing operation <coughs> okay so uh, now if i want to talk about some properties of string okay so a string is basically uh, data types like uh, uh, there are uh, many data types available in a python like uh, list tuple dictionary sets and we are going to uh, learn this thing in uh, day 2 but uh, 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 basically list is a immutable data type okay so what do you mean by immutable data type okay so when you create a list okay so if you create a list uh, by any name so suppose you create a list with the name c and you want to change uh, uh, the element in, uh, any element inside that list with the help of index value so you can you can't change it okay because list is a immutable data type so you can't change that index uh, that you can't change that element value okay so suppose if i write here like hello python okay and if uh, if at any index value i basically uh, i want to uh, correct something if i want to add something like uh, in place of uh, basically l uh, if i want to replace if i want to replace this l with e okay so my l is basically at uh, i think uh, second index place and if i want to replace this l with e okay so it will give me an error because a string is not a string is a basically immutable data type so you can't uh, basically change the element uh, once you create a string okay so you can't change its element fine so it's a basically immutable data types fine now if you if you want if you want to concat to strings you can definitely concat uh, to a string like uh, in c if you want to concat something okay if you want to add some more string okay so hello python and if i want to write hello world okay so yes you are basic you are uh, able to concat this thing okay for a uh, spacing so like after hello python i want to give a same space so you can write in this way okay so hello python hello world yes so it's a very simple operation you can do this uh, and the next thing if i want to uh, suppose hello python so if i want to write this hello python uh, multiple times so uh, if i want to write this hello python kind of a thing five times so i can only write uh, i i just uh, have to multiply this thing okay so c into five is basically hello python hello python so it will end up generating a hello python five times fine so uh, uh, now uh, we are basically going to talk about some built-in string method okay so you can basically check the length of uh, s1 so length of s1 is nothing but 9 now uh, you can see there are a lot of things uh, a lot of characters in basically a lower case okay so if you want to change uh, the character value if you want to change this character value like uh, you want to make uh, all the characters in a upper case so you can just you can write like s1 dot and again so guys you need not to remember each and every function after s1 dot you only uh, need to basically press the tab button okay so inside tab button you can see uh, there are there are more than 20 functions available inside a string operation 
okay so if you need not to remember a, a, anything you just uh, uh, you just want to if you want to change uh, the basically uh, case type in upper so you need only write s1 dot upper and after uh, writing s1 dot upper you can see that all your characters are basically in upper case fine uh, in the same way if you want to basically uh, if you want everything in a basically lower case character so you need to write s1 dot lower and all your characters are basically in lower case okay then there are one more function if you want to split this thing okay so suppose uh, 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 if you want to split this thing with any separator okay if you want to split this character with any uh, in this string with any separator okay so what you need to do is so just like s1 dot split s1 dot split and with the help of s1 dot split you can basically split this uh, uh, to uh, uh, this string uh, with the help of a separator which is uh, basically a comma okay so you can uh, definitely split this thing okay now if you if you want to split uh, from some position like uh, if you want to split uh, a, suppose if your s1 is uh, right without any space and if you want to suppose uh, okay so i just write like uh, s2 is equals to it and skills okay so all the things are written uh, without any uh, without any space and if you want to basically split this thing so you need to specify from where you want to split okay so from where you want to split so you just need to write s2 dot split and you need to specify where from where you want to split so suppose i want to split from s okay so it kills okay so your s will be omitted and you uh, can split this thing fine so <coughs> these uh, these are basically some operations of a uh, basically string now if you want to uh, count if you want to basically uh, count something okay so suppose again i think there is s1 with it skills and if i want to count, count uh, that how many times this l comes uh, in this string okay so if i want to count how many times this particular character means particular character l comes in this uh, string so you only need to write s1 dot count s1 dot count and you need to uh, write that character which character you want to count okay so I, if i write l so s1 dot count l so yes l uh, basically comes for two types so you can see that uh, uh, the count of l is basically two fine so in this way you can count uh, basically uh, how many times the particular character comes into the picture <coughs> fine uh, now if i if i write something okay so if i write uh, uh, basically some uh, any sentence okay so suppose in s3 uh, if i write some uh, sentence okay so if i write peace begins with a smile okay so this is a beautiful quote uh, written by someone so if i write a peace begins with a smile and if i want to find anything in this sentence so I, if i write suppose s3 dot find and i need to specify that uh, that uh, word which i want to find okay so if i want to find suppose with okay so it will give you if it will gives me the position of uh, basically with so at what index value your width is present okay so it will give me it will uh, basically uh, give me the uh, index value of this width okay so width is basically present at 13th in, uh, index value okay now uh, suppose if i write some characters uh, like uh, s is equals to suppose uh, maybe shivam singh my name okay and uh, uh, I just write each and every character uh, in a basically uh, lower case so if I want to uh, if I want that uh, at least my s so at least my uh, the first character of my name comes in basically upper case okay so if I use upper so all the characters are basically in upper case so I can't use that upper case because I just want the, the sh s of my shiva uh, comes into a, uh, in uh, comes into a uh, upper case okay so if I write like uh, if i want to if i want to uh, do that kind of a change so i need to write like s dot capitalize okay so f s dot capitalize 
so with the help of s dot capitalize i can do this kind of a change okay so yes you can see uh, the s of shiva uh, are basically comes in uh, upper case okay now if i use uh, basically something which is called a uh, title so what happens with the title so the s of shivam and the s of singh both the term are comes into uh, comes in basically upper case okay so means uh, in uh, in your sentence if you want that each and every character of uh, basically uh, of uh, each and every character of a uh, single word comes into the upper case so you can use basically a title okay so with title uh, you can see the s is also comes in uh, upper case and the s of sing is also comes into the upper case fine <laughs> so uh, yes and then there is uh, basically uh, again uh, some methods which uh, uh, which gives the result in a basically a boolean way okay so there are some functions or some methods which gives the result in a basically a boolean way so i think everyone knows about the boolean way so boolean means that a boolean is basically uh, it gives you the value in uh, basically a true or false okay so it gives you the value in uh, basically a true or false so like uh, there is a there is one function which is called ends with okay so there is a function which is called ends with so again if i write uh, some uh, if i write the same code okay so s3 uh, if i write uh, basically a same code again over here with a different name like s4 and uh, i just write s4 dot ends with okay so this is a function inside a string so and if i write ends with so my uh, this the complete sentence ends with basically le okay so smile end of this smile is basically le so if i write like le okay so yes it's true it ends with le now if i write something else if i write uh, something at else like uh, if i write uh, ns so it will gives me the false okay so there is a function which is uh, which is called ends with so if my uh, if my sentence ends with uh, a correct uh, uh, basically a character which i gives so it will gives me the true result and if my uh, sentence is not ends with a correct character which i specify then it will gives me the false okay likewise there is a uh, another function which is called starts with so you can check also that starts with okay so uh, it basically works in a same way so like uh, likewise you can see that there is a function which is called starts with okay so yes it starts with p e uh, yes so yes it's true and if you write something else so it will gives you the false so start with uh, with like uh, suppose vs so it will gives me the false fine then there are uh, again uh, so many boolean function uh, like uh, uh, is upper is lower so it will check uh, whether each and every sentence is available uh, available in your uh, uh, basically variable is a basically a lower case character so suppose s4 dot is lower if i want to check is lower so it will gives me the true because every character uh, every word inside this sentence is basically a lower case character but if i uh, if i write as four dot is upper so it will gives me the false okay because uh, they are in a basically lower case character they are not in a upper case character so it will gives me the false okay likewise there are a different operation like uh, alphanumeric and uh, a uh, different kind of uh, operation is available so is alpha and then there is a uh, basically and the kind of a thing like uh, if i write uh, a is equals to uh, hello at the rate 1 2 3 okay so uh, and if i want to check whether this uh, uh, a is basically alpha or not means there are alphabets available or not so yes it falls because there are uh, alphabet but yes there are some numeric characters is also available okay likewise if i want to check whether this uh, is basically uh, alpha numeric 
so yes it's is not alpha numeric because there is one character available uh, in between okay so if i replace this character then this uh, complete a becomes a alpha numeric okay so if you want to if you want to check this out so you can write here like uh, a1 and you only need to replace uh, uh, replace this alpha uh, at the rate okay so now if i write a1 dot alpha numeric sorry is alpha is al num so at that point of time i get true okay so yes in this way you can check anything so likewise is digit is available so if there are some numbers so if there are some numbers and if you want to check like h dot is digit so yes there uh, so h uh, uh, so basically there, these are basically string operations so you need to write this thing in a inside a string then only this operation is available because uh, this is a basically string operation so is digit fine so yes all the characters are basically a digit then if you want to check uh, whether this is a basically uh, decimal is decimal so yes then that at that point of time it gives you the false value because there are no decimal values available in this uh, basically inside that h variable okay so these are basically some boolean methods available these are basically some boolean methods available with which you can check whether the operation you want to perform is correct or not okay so fine i think uh, these are basically some string functions which are available now if i want to uh, if i uh, if i want to uh, do some a uh, regular uh, expression kind of a thing okay so suppose there is a uh, character with uh, basically l a variable l and inside that l i want to store suppose something hello so l is equals to hello now if i want to split this thing so i think i already told you about this split operation so suppose if i if i want to split uh, with e uh, oh sorry i think uh, there is a variable name l okay so here l is omitted okay so at this point of a time l is omitted so if i write uh, l dot split and if i specify a character from where i want to split okay so likewise last time i just write a uh, it skills so it will omit my s so the uh, the basically uh, meaning of uh, that uh, that uh, string is completely changed it will it becomes basically it kills okay so in place of it skills it becomes it kills okay so if you want that uh, the character is not uh, basically not omitted okay so for that purpose you need to uh, and if you want this kind of a partition so at that point of time you need to use a basically thing which is called a partition a function which is called a partition and if you write this thing with a partition okay so what happens is again you are able to uh, basically uh, again you are able to perform this kind of operation but this time your e is not omitted okay so you your e is uh, basically there so that is not omitted fine so this is a concept of basically a partition now uh, the second data type is basically a numbers so with numbers you can perform different kind of operation so suppose uh, likewise uh, uh, for the checking operation i already use this thing so suppose i write 2 plus 5 so it will give me the value 7 okay so i can perform any kind of operation like i can write 8 minus 5 so it will give me the result 3 okay so if i want to up, uh, if i want to multiply some values so 7 into 4 is basically uh, 28 then if i write 9 divided by 3 so it will give me the 3 okay so these are basically uh, operations which I can perform with the in, inside a numbers. Okay, like uh, yes, if I want to write in this way, yes, I can get a 4.5. Fine. Then there are some uh, there are some operation like if you want if I want uh, basically square of some number. Okay, so if I want to do square of some number, so I only uh, need to write eight, then cross cross and two. Okay, so eight is square of eight is nothing but sixty four. Yes, so you can get a sixty four. Okay, fine. So in this way, you can uh, basically square. Uh, you can get the square of any number. Okay, so nine 
square is basically at 28 and not only the square if i if you want to write a base if you want a cube then 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 also you can find out like uh, three cross cross and then three so three a cube of three is nothing but 27 yes so you can get this value okay fine then uh, there are uh, basically uh, you can also find a complex you can also uh, uh, write a complex number inside your python okay so there is nothing to worry about if you want to write uh, if uh, if uh, if you want to see some uh, complex number okay so you can write in this way so in a complex number there are two two parts one is basically a real number and there are another one is basically an imaginary number okay so in our image number you need to uh, write a uh, basically j you you represent that image number with a uh, basically j so 7 plus 6 j uh, this this is basically uh, your complex number and if you want to extract basically a real and complex number so you can extract this thing so real number is nothing but 7 and the imaginary number is nothing but 6 okay and if you want to check the type of this c is nothing but a complex fine then there is a method which is called flow division method so like uh, uh, i write 9 divided by 2 is basically 4.5 but if i write this thing in this way like uh, 9 uh, double slash 2 so it will give me a value 4 okay so it will never gives you the value in basically a decimal form it will give will give you the value in basically uh, integer form only so 9 sl uh, double slash 2 is gives you basically 2 fine okay and uh, yes inside a uh, python you can basically comment out uh, something okay so if you want to write some comment so a single line comment is basically uh, in uh, 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 you can write a single line comment with this uh, hash operation like so this is a single line comment fine and uh, if you want a multiple line comment so you can write that value in a uh, basically triple quotes okay so suppose if you want to write something inside uh, so this is a uh, multi and then line and then comment in python okay so yes this is a multi line comment in python okay so for a multiple multiple line comments you need to use a triple quotes okay <coughs> fine so uh, again uh, uh, basically uh, so this is uh, these are all kind of operation you can perform based inside a uh, basically string and numbers and uh, one more thing like if you want to write something in this way so yes so this the uh, suppose i already told you you can write uh, a string in a um, uh, single quote or double quote so there is no issue but uh, if you write in this way so this python session and is amazing so it will give you the error okay so in a single quote if you use a single quote again inside uh, that single quote so it will give you the error okay so uh, how you can read of read out from this error you need to write uh, this complete sentence inside a double quote okay so if you want to uh, if you if you want that uh, you are uh, if if you want that uh, there is uh, if you want uh, to run this code without any error so you need to write uh, this thing inside a double quote okay so inside a double quote you can give this uh, basically as basically a single quote word okay so now if you run this so there is no error and if you check this as so this python session is amazing okay so yes uh, these are basically some ways inside a string function now one last thing okay so there are there are uh, one kind of error you are basically end up getting like a type error okay so any kind of uh, basically a data type so any kind of a data type be it an integer or in a day two if you are uh, learn about like uh, 
numbers so any kind of a data type you can uh, basically change the data type uh, uh, with a, uh, in, uh, if you want to change that uh, basically number data type in a basically string data type so you only need to specify uh, that thing inside a str okay so suppose if there are some numbers okay so suppose there are some numbers uh, a is equals to 78 so you know that a is basically an integer okay now if you if you want to change the data type okay if you want to change the data type so now a becomes a string okay so if you want if now if if you check the type of a so it becomes a basically string okay fine uh, so i i need to store this thing in some value okay now if i want to check the type of v so it becomes a string fine so uh, you can uh, do this kind of a change and you can avoid a type error okay so suppose if i if i told you that uh, write uh, any kind of a program so suppose there is some age specified over here 24 and then there is some message which you want to print okay so if you want to print some message so message equals to nothing but suppose happy uh, uh, and plus age so happy 23rd birthday okay so happy 23rd birthday you want to print this message for me maybe so rd and then birthday fine so happy 23rd birthday you want to uh, give this message to me so and if you want to print this message so what happens is you will get an error because is is basically an integer and you concatenate that integer with a basically a string so it will uh, basically it is not able to concatenate okay so if you want to concatenate this age value with your strings so you need to is uh, you need to change the uh, type okay so you need to change the type of this integer okay so this is also known as type casting okay so this is known as type casting so what you can do is so you need you can write uh, this uh, age in basically inside the str okay now uh, you will not get any error fine so happy 23rd 24th birthday and yes you you already know how you can represent this thing in a beautiful way suppose you can make a space over here and fine i think yes okay so this is all about uh, basically strings and numbers and this is all about our today's session okay so this is all about our basically day one session so our day one topic is basically strings and numbers so this is all about uh, basically strings and numbers so all the basically different kind of a function different kind of a methods uh, i already discussed with you guys and there are maybe some methods which uh, which will which we are not able to discuss because there are so many methods okay like uh, in inside your is so there are so many boolean methods available so yes that, uh, that is not uh, possible so that we can uh, cover each and every boolean method but yes most of the methods i already cover and uh, you can basically try that methods okay so you already know the fundamental you already know the concept how you can try that methods so you can try that methods uh, uh, with uh, with uh, uh, with uh, 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 okay so you can try that methods and uh, yes the notebook is available to you uh, in a google classroom so you only need to join that google classroom so that uh, you can get this notebook in a more structured way and the second thing like uh, 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 I think uh, the link of Google Classroom is again sent to you in a chat box. Okay, so you can join that uh, classroom, and you will all you also get a basically assignment of today's session for today's session. Okay, so you need to complete that assignment. Okay, so you need to complete that assignment that will definitely gives you some insights and the questions from that in, uh, assignment you can ask uh, at the same time uh, in tomorrow's session. Okay. So fine guys, so anyone uh, having any issue, any any query you can ask in a chat box, you can ask your query in a chat box. Okay, so there are basically 10 minutes left, so you can ask your query.
okay so you can also write uh, basically uh, your feedback how this session help you or this session is good for you or not you know any kind of improvement at last you can also uh, see this thing this is called a gen of python okay so gen of python is nothing but uh, like uh, uh, what uh, what kind of a thing you need to uh, worry about uh, if when you write uh, basically a program inside a python okay so the python is basically a case sensitive okay so there are uh, so many things uh, there are so many mistakes regarding uh, basically indentation so you need to uh, you need to uh, uh, you, uh, uh, you need to make a proper indentation uh, at a time of uh, python programming okay so yes it, this is a very simple language so you can see all that thing uh, of basically a python in a gen of python okay so yes you need uh, as a script scripting language you need to basically uh, write your thing or you need to write your code in a much beautiful way okay so you need to write your uh, story as i already told you that uh, uh, code uh, writing a code in python is like writing a story so you need to represent your story in a more beautiful way so that people can praise your story people can understand your story okay in a much easier way okay fine so these are some uh, gen of python some oath of python like uh, beautiful is uh, better than ugly explicit is better than implicit simple is better than complex so you need not to uh, write a code in a much, much complex way you can basically represent your code in a more simpler way so that people can understand okay and try to uh, try to uh, adopt a habit of uh, writing a comment so that uh, anyone uh, if anyone can see your uh, basically a code so they can understand uh, that what are the things going on inside that code okay so likewise i will give you this notebook okay so in a much much structure way so there you can uh, see that how i uh, basically write this code for you okay so in a much, pro much proper and structured way so you can see that uh, uh, after each and every uh, each and every function and after each and every uh, code you find a comment okay so uh, that comment helps you to understand that what are basically going on inside that code okay so you need to adopt that kind of a habit okay then there is a, again one operation uh, one more thing available inside that jupyter notebook that uh, you can basically uh, write down a uh, basically a markdown okay so inside markdown uh, you can basically create a heading so suppose this is all about a uh, strings so yes i can create a heading and i can write something about the string so like anything inside uh, the inside uh, basically a single code okay inside a single code or double code considered as string okay so yes you can basically mark down uh, some of the things which you think uh, basically an important one okay so guys uh, just join that google classroom so you guys can understand how uh, in a beautiful way you can represent your uh, basically notebook okay and i hope that everyone uh, try to complete that assignment and i hope that everyone uh, basically uh, submit that assignment in a same beautiful way in which i will give you the notebook okay guys so thank you so much and any kind of a feedback any kind of a query you can write in a comment box write in a chat box okay guys thank you so much bye bye see you tomorrow